Hey there, Improv Tipsters. Well, today I have a fantastic tip for you from a fantastic guest tipper. A woman who I think uh, everyone will agree is a force of nature and a legend of improvisation, Susan Messing. Now, Susan, uh, her credits are too numerous to mention, but I will mention this small excerpt. Uh, she has designed and teaches the Level 2 curriculum at I.O. in Chicago. She teaches at DePaul, uh, University of Chicago, Steppenwolf Theater, and around the globe, where she teaches uh, and performs, uh, touring around. One of the things that she tours around with is the boys that she does with Rachel Mason. Also, every Tuesday she does Molly with Norm Holly, and every Thursday she does Messing with a Friend, a show which she has been doing for 10 years, an improv show that's been going on for 10 years, and I am very flattered and happy to be a part of it, even a tiny fragment of this. Here's our show that we did together in IO, in, in, uh, IO West in LA, Bing! so check that out. Uh, and without any further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the inimitable Susan Messing. Hi friends, it's Susan Messing. I'm so grateful to be part of Paul Valancourt's tips. I thought about it and I thought, if I had something very quickly to say, what would I do to talk people into improv? Well, I would support you in talking yourself into improvisation. We spend a lot of time, money, and energy only to not want to do improv and to also say, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at object work. I'm so bad at names. Why don't every day we say something else like, hey, every day I do something to be better at names. As a matter of fact, when you go out and people watch because you do it all the time, look at somebody in a cafe and go, huh, that is definitely a Charlotte. Ooh, that's an Angela. She's got mall bangs. So whatever it takes for you to guys to talk yourself in, even the way you say somebody's name is a clue at, as how you feel about them. So you might as well enjoy the hell out of that ride. Also, since people are in worlds, and that's what improv is about, especially long form, then you go, yeah, there's Angela again. The audience loves it when you remember it, so you don't have to stand on the side and go, what the fuck did I call you in that, na in that scene? That is a pain in the ass and a waste of your life. The other thing you can do is object work. I'm bad at object work, Susan. Nope, every day you are getting better at object work. Remember, you can be inspired by yourself, your world, and your friend. And if you're not inspired by your world, you're standing around in a void saying funny, stupid shit. So, every day, you can do something at home, then do the imaginary version of doing it, and start getting off like that as way. Well. The three kinds of improvisers I hate are I suck, you suck, and this sucks. So please, don't tell me how much you suck, because then you've invited me to hate your guts. But I am interested in you smelling it, touching it, tasting it, feeling it, and being in the moment. And if you're in the moment, I'm in the moment watching you. So that was my horny tip of the day. Hope you have a good one. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.